scoundrel. And quite frankly, talking like that in front of a lady is exactly what I'd expect from you. You blackguard, you foundling. My dear Helen, I told you, I told you quite clearly that this man, this creature whom the fates have decided to call my brother, is nothing but a spreader of lies and a believer of nonsense. Our mother had a son and then was barren, but a witch. Passing the house gave her a boy and she kept it. Unbeknownst to my mother, that boy was sent forth from the fiery pits of hell. Oh, you can tell he's not human because of his beady red eyes and his bestial tail. People have tried to drown him many times, but of course, he floats. No, the only way to kill him is to stab him in his villain's heart. That being said, my dear Miss Helen, like all creatures of the night, he's nothing but a terrible coward. Oh, this Morning man is scared of his own shadow. He wanted to be nursed until he was 15. He sleeps with the lights on and is never happier than when he is being cuddled by the strong motherly type. My friend, you there. Morning. Yeah, what do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. What'd you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head. <laughs> like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. I'm a pretty good shot, boys, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everybody knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. is as good a time as any. Go for it! <laughs> you got mine, and I barely even flinched. What are you fools doing? Try not to kill anybody. If we could just get this over with. Good shot! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses, I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Ready? Aim. Fire. No, nothing to fear at all. Come on. Now aim that over here. Yes. <sighs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Excellent. Fine shooting. Oh, now mine. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. I think... Me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why, too much? Nope, my sweet.
Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a sickly child, sickly and weird. I have no idea why he followed me out to the West. He would have been better off staying at prep school or going to the seminary. I've spent my whole life horsewhipping this scoundrel, but to no avail. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello? I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? John. John could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The night and the name. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. My yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit, hit me, me again. again! Right here! Right here! Ooh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once! Give me your worst! I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel, huh? <laughs> They've come out his ears! <laughs> My turn! Oh. Oh. Enough, gentlemen? Oh. Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <sighs> Let's get you back to your room. Over here. Hello. I'm fine. Really. It's that wretch who needs the rest. I've never been better. Truly, I could ride the strawberry in the state I'm in. Both of you are going to bed, and that's the end of it. A bath. Maybe that's what I need. Would you bathe me, sweet Helen? Do you hear that wretch? That lascivious monster? If you're Here's bathing the hotel. anyone, We're you're bathing there. me. And you can be assured of my chivalry, fair girl. You've had your fun with these boys. Now let me look after him. Okay, now lie down and rest. Yes, rest. Much better. A few moments of sleep and then I'll have the beating of that boob. You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? This is getting quite out of hand. Hands? Oh, he doesn't have hands. He's a troll. And that's why we found him here. He escaped from his... Would you tell your talking monkey to go home, please, Helen? He was amusing at first, but now he's really quite tiring. Oh, John, how are you? Never better. See you two haven't changed much. No, 
He's still a lizard. Coward. Gerbil. Mommy's boy. Manatee. Effluentous charge. Milk. Sop. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sop. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it's the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. John, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Uh, oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! Good luck! <laughs> you crazy bastards. Oh, my lord! Oh, the fools! The silly fools! I cannot believe they've done this! Uh, come on. Let's go try and find them. on your horse. Follow me! They're further down. We won't reach them from here. Do you think they're all right? They might be. You want them to be all right? Of course! Whatever do you mean? I was just thinking. Might be easier for you if... Watch out! If only one of them was... Uh, you catch my meaning? Sir... That is a terrible thing to say. You got a favorite? I like them both. Equally. Then maybe fate might help you out. It is not like that, mister. Not like that at all. Sure. We must find them. Here you are. Acrisia! What have you done? <laughs> Brother! Are you there? Acri! <gasps> Is that you? <laughs> I've had the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> I thought you were a goner. <laughs> it's a miracle we're alive. <laughs> silly, silly voice. You nearly died. For me. <laughs> She's right. Oh, dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool. But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know! You are a lion! Giant! You are an earthshaker! World conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? Uh, I... Good lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Web, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! <laughs> Boys! <sighs> Quite some suitors you picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without me. No, probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Ma'am. <laughs> oh, I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know? It was just exciting. The smartest man I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> well, that's usually how it works. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you.